Hey everyone, today in this video I am going to be talking about the most important and common questions that I would review before any front-end developer role interview in JavaScript. Also note that every topic mentioned in the video is equally important and the number of ordering doesn't matter. So let's get on with it. Number 1. Lifecycle Hooks Nowadays most companies require their engineers to work upon a JavaScript framework or library. So if you're applying to a job position that requires React, Angular or Vue as a skill in the job requirement, then it's almost certain that you will be asked about lifecycle hooks during the interview process. This is important because it allows the interviewer to know that you have the knowledge of how the application loads and which parts of the application take precedence while mounting or loading, ultimately showing off your in-depth knowledge of the working process behind the framework or library. Along with this, you should also know about removing event listeners when the component unmounts. Number two, promises. Promises are one of the most important and commonly asked questions in any JavaScript front-end interview. The most simple definition of a promise is that promise is an object that represents the eventual completion of an asynchronous operation. You need to make sure that you understand the three different states of promises which are fulfilled, rejected, and pending state. To understand all of this in depth, go through the following. Promise.resolve, Promise.reject, Promise.all, and Promise.race. Apart from this, chaining in promises is also frequently asked. Make sure you familiarize yourself using the dot then in order to handle asynchronous code and manage promises. Promises are extremely important when it comes to making API calls in order to load asynchronous data. And this is something that every interviewer would require you to know no matter what. Number three, difference between arrow and regular functions. Ever since the 2015 edition of ES6, arrow function expressions were added to the JavaScript language. And now arrow functions are widely being used in the industry. Therefore, you need to make sure to understand these four key differences between arrow and regular functions. One, how the this keyword works in each of them. 2. How constructors are used in each of them. 3. What does implicit return mean in each of them? And last but not the least, how to use methods in classes for each of them. Understanding these four key points for each of them will definitely prove your in-depth knowledge about JavaScript. Since the industry nowadays does focus a lot on functional programming and writing functions is important no matter what. Number 4. The difference between var, let and const. This is extremely important in JavaScript as variables are present everywhere. Here are some of the things you should know about. Whether or not each of them can be declared without initialization. You need to know whether they are global or block scoped and also the specific difference between let and const only as they're almost similar. Number five, closures. Closures is one of the most important topics in JavaScript. A closure is basically a function having access to the parent scope even after the parent function has closed. Basically, it makes possible for a function to have private variables and this is important to keep your variables restricted within the function scope so that nothing else apart from that particular function can modify the variable. Number 6. Prototypes and Prototype Inheritance Every object with its methods and properties contains an internal and hidden property known as prototype. And the prototype inheritance is a feature in JavaScript used to add methods and properties in objects. It is a method by which an object can inherit the properties and methods of another object. Number 7. Currying. In other terms, currying is when a function, instead of taking all arguments at one time, takes the first one and returns a new function, which takes the second one and returns a new function, which takes the third one and so on, until all arguments are completed. You should understand the uses of currying. Some of them are, it divides your function into multiple small, smaller functions that can handle one responsibility. This makes your function pure and less prone to errors and other side effects. It is also used in functional programming to create a higher order function. Number eight, debouncing and throttling. Now this is one of the most important concepts in JavaScript. It also serves as an application for enhancing web performance. You might be asked by the interviewer regarding the difference between the both and where each of them can be used. Make sure to check out how these can be beneficial while building a search filter or a function that performs window resizing. 
basically debounce and throttling optimizes the number of times a particular event is called meaning that instead of looking for new data on every key press in search filter you could look for data when the key press is paused or when there's a delay between two key press events same goes for window resize rather than calling events for each second the window is resized it can be called and calculated only when there's a pause or delay between any two window resize events this optimizes performance and is an extremely handy feature in websites a prerequisite for this could be understanding how set timeout and clear timeout works number nine call apply and bind methods this is also frequently asked and knowledge of this helps a lot conceptually to master this you need to understand how each of these methods work and how they are different from each other you would also need to understand how the this keyword works in each of the methods number 10 commonly used array functions in javascript this is something you might use daily in every task and therefore knowledge of these functions are quite important the most commonly used array functions are map, filter, find, reduce, and sum. Learning these functions and mastering them will definitely give you an upper hand, not only in interviews, but also in enhancing your programming speed while writing code. Number 11, the this keyword. Whenever we try to access props or state using class component, we need to use the this keyword. However, it is not necessary to use the this keyword for functional components. The this keyword refers to an object that is executing the current piece of code. It, refers, it references the object that is executing the current function. It is also extremely important to note that if the function being referenced is a regular function, this references the global object. This is not a variable it is a keyword and you cannot change the value of this understanding this keyword will also give you an upper hand in learning the call apply and bind methods number 12 dom traversal techniques these are the standard convention for accessing and manipulating elements within html documents it is always important you have a clear idea regarding how to access elements in the dom Everything you see in a website is present in the DOM and without understanding how to manipulate it, you cannot go further in JavaScript. So diving deep into the following topics regarding the DOM will help you a lot. 1. Understand how each of the DOM selectors are used to access elements based on classes or IDs. Understand differences between node list and HTML collections. Understand event listeners. And last but not the least, number 13 optimizing web performance i do not have to stress on how important this is since without understanding how to optimize web performance no matter how good you write a piece of code it won't have much of a value some of the topics to focus on are number one lazy loading it is a strategy to identify resources and load these only when needed number two optimizing api calls number three using debounce and throttling whenever required number four optimizing startup performance of your application you can use different tools such as lighthouse to get a full overview of your application startup time and also full analytics on why and where your application seems to be slowing down during startup number five understanding async and defer and how they help make the loading of scripts non-blocking in nature and last but not the least analyzing bundle size of packages or libraries before using them so these were the topics I find the most important to review before any front-end developer role interview in JavaScript. If you enjoyed the video and gained some valuable information, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more.